boys and girls. How are you today? Hey, Miss Veronica, come here. What? Oh, well, sure, Twinkle. I have feelings. Sometimes I feel happy and sometimes I feel sad. I have even felt mad and scared. Well, just the other day I felt sad. My kitty was sick and I had to take him to the doctor and it made me scared. You felt scared? But, but you're a grown up. You're teasing. I didn't think the teachers had feelings. Boys and girls, did you think that that's true? Do you think teachers have feelings too? That's news to me. Ah, I need to think about this for a while. You know what? Llama Llama said that she's coming over today to play with us. Hi, everyone. Did I just hear Twinkle right? She said that your teacher has feelings. I thought only kids and llamas had feelings. You know that I have feelings? You know that I have feelings too? Do you? <laughs> Listen, Llama Llama. Everybody has feelings. And all feelings are okay. Uni Unicorn, do you have feelings? Like totally. Do you ever feel happy? <laughs> like all the time. How about sad? Well, like, yeah, I guess I feel sad sometimes too. Do you ever feel scared, Uni? Well, yeah, yeah, that like happens sometimes too. Do you ever feel angry sometimes, Judy? Like, yeah, like one time this guy like totally cut me off in my car and I was so angry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. No, it wasn't, it made me mad. Okay, it's okay to be angry sometimes too. Kids, do you think that parents have feelings too? They do. You know what? Parents, can have feelings too. They do. Have you ever helped your parents clean up a room? And then when you were done cleaning up the room, how did your parents feel? I bet they were happy. Yeah, they were. And maybe, maybe there was a time where you broke something in the house and or made a really big mess. How did your parents feel then? They probably weren't so happy. They were probably angry then, huh? Oh yeah. There was like this time when that happened to me and and Mama Llama was not happy at all. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she was mad. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I guess adults do have feelings too. Even teachers and parents have feelings. Oh, can you believe that, boys and girls? Wow. <laughs> it's right, Llama Llama. They do have feelings too. And do you know what, Llama Llama? Do you think that older people, like grandmas and grandpas, have feelings? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they have feelings? Well, do you think that they feel happy? I, I guess so. Well, do you think that they can feel sad? Do you think grandmas and grandpas can feel sad? Oh, this one time, my grandma said that she missed grandpa. I think that she was sad. You're right, they can feel sad. Do, do you think they can feel mad too? Yeah, even though grandmas and grandpas probably don't get mad at you very often, they can feel mad too. Do you think that they can feel scared? Oh, I guess they can. Wow, even grand grandmas and grandpas have feelings too. Wow, Miss Veronica, that's amazing. Grown-ups have feelings too. Whoa. All right, so I need your help to help me. Do you think, Llama, that you can help me? I think so, but I need you guys' help too. Let's see if we can identify some feelings of these friends that I have on my pictures here. All right, I have some pictures and I need your help. 
Let's see if we can identify some of these, all right? So do you think, what do we think? Do we think that this little kid has feelings? What do you think, Llama? I think so. I think that that little kid looks sad. I think you're right. Yeah. How about, how about this little kid right here? What do we think? That one, I think that one looks happy. Yeah. That, that kid is smiling and they've got a thumbs up. Oh, I love giving thumbs up. Yeah. You're right. I think they do look happy. Let's, let's, let's look at this kid. What do we think about that one? Oh, oh, I think that one looks scared because, because they're like chewing their nails and, and, and they, they look scared. I think you're right. Um, let's try maybe, maybe let's try, oh, this one right here. What kind of, how do you think she feels? Oh, oh, she looks angry. Yeah, she's got this, this expression on her face where she does not look happy. She looks angry. I think you're right. Yeah. So look at all those emotions those people have. We've got all kinds of feelings on there, don't we? Because we can feel all kinds of different emotions. And it's okay to express those emotions. And it's okay if we feel different at different times. Yeah. Even adults can have those emotions. And that's okay. Well, Miss Veronica, you make lots of sense. And, and, and I, I like that, that it's okay to feel happy and mad and sad and even scared. That's right. It's okay to have those feelings. And it's okay to tell people that you have those feelings. Wow, I, I like that. Thank you. You're welcome, Llama. All right, my challenge for you this week, boys and girls, is for you to look around. I want you to look at your family members and your friends, and I want you to see if you can tell who is happy and who is sad, who's mad and who's scared. See if you can identify who has feelings in your family. Everybody has feelings, and I want you to see if you can tell when they're happy, when they're sad, maybe when they're mad, and maybe when they're scared. See if you can tell what they're feeling. And maybe see when you can tell what you're feeling. And if you need to talk to somebody about your feelings, it's okay. You can talk to an adult. Mommies and daddies are great listeners and teachers too. And they want to hear what you have to say about your feelings. All right, little sprouts. It was great talking to you. Bye, friends. <laughs> like, totally. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye, little sprout friends.